have surpassed what we set out to do. When we started in 1995 with the first show with Gilvano and Sir Yahoo, called the first realist, our real plan was only to um, develop more exhibitions, to document our uh, visual art. Today, the Image Factory celebrates 10 years of promoting art through exhibitions in Belize. But as explained by its director, Yasser Musa, there was more than just displays going on North Front Street in the first decade. So what does the future hold for the Image Factory? Our um, view, and I have tried to convey this to as many artists as possible, is to yes, have a respect for the history of what has taken place and to kind of put it in a box and in a way try to erase it so that when you do future projects you are not um, uh, obligated to what you did before because then you will be, you know, you won't be fresh and you won't be innovative. But our agenda for the future is to be uh, forward thinking as we were in the first 10 years and try to develop new expressions and try to uplift the next generation of visual artists. We hope that the next generation of artists will see the first 10 years as something that they can uh, look to. So that is our hope. Works that have been exhibited over the past decade form part of the anniversary celebration. Additionally, artists who have not yet had their pieces promoted at the well-known gallery have also been invited to be part of the event. And we've gotten a good response. We've gotten over 60 uh, works of art by 60, over 60 different artists. Um, most of them from Belize, over 50 of them from Belize. But we've had artists that have exhibited here from Cuba, Guatemala, Honduras, and they have too sent in their works. There are also plans to renovate the image factory so cruise ship tourists and other visitors will be able to access the facility from the riverside. It was a double celebration occurring over the Belize City Swing Bridge, as Stone Tree Records is also celebrating its 10th birthday. Since we started in 1995, the, the idea was to, to start producing local artists. As you probably remember, back in 1995, there were no recording studios in Belize. So artists usually had to go abroad to record if it was Guatemala City, LA, New York, or even Mexico City. We started um, by recording local artists in Belize. The only other attempt in the past was made by Andy Palacio and Sunrise um, Records, which they used to have a little studio at the, at the Old Bliss. Um, but that was limited production, mainly cassettes. So in 1995, Stone Tree was the first um, company to put out um, a locally produced CD, which was Andy Palacio's Camo album and Brother David's Raw CD. In the past 10 years, the company has produced 25 recordings. One issue that remains very much a concern is copyright that does affect the production of music. At the end of the day, it's about the public realizing that the only way they're going to have new music is if they support the music that is available now by buying original products. And that's the only way that we can continue to produce music and that's the only way why artists will ever pay somebody to go into a studio to record. Um, so that's very critical and we are very fortunate also that in Belize our market has sustained uh, the industry up to this point. Um, we depend um, 100 percent in the local market. Duran says he remains encouraged by the fact that they have not seen many instances of local works being pirated. This Duran believes is because Belizeans are beginning to support their local artists. <laughs>